This is Dakota News Now, your first alert station. Good evening, I'm Sam Wright. I'm Brian Allen. Through nine months of this year, statistics show crime is overall steady with where it's been for the past couple of years in Sioux Falls. Homicides have been up this year, but other categories of violent crime are steady or down. Cooper Seamer joins us with more in our top story at 6 o'clock. Cooper. Yeah, Brian and Sam, city leaders say the number of aggravated assaults, robberies and stolen vehicles are all down this year in Sioux Falls compared to the previous year. Overall, the rate of violent crimes has slightly dipped while property crimes have remained steady. The one major category of crime statistically up in Sioux Falls over the last year is homicides. The eight the city has seen so far this year mostly came this summer as city leaders track crime stats through the first three quarters of the year. Assistant Police Chief Nick Cook says though these crimes aren't random and unfortunately are part of the ebb and flow of crime. Each one has its own nuance, its own set of circumstances of why and when they happen. So. Um, again, one of those numbers we don't like to see up. But Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenaken says everything else is holding steady or in some categories slightly improving. Property crimes are slightly up per capita, but for the first time since 2017, the number of stolen cars has dropped. The number of calls for service is also up, but Tenaken says that's expected with a larger city. With traffic, uh, with nuisance driving, and we're also encouraging more people to report things, see something, say something. Uh, so that we know what's going on and, and that's been successful. He points to the drop in violent crimes per capita from 6.21 per 1,000 to 5.88 as a sign that the Sioux Falls Police Department is working to crack down on crime, mostly starting with working to intervene early. I'm a data guy and that crime per capita number shows that if that four to five violent crimes per capita was six, seven, eight, nine over the last five years, we'd have a very different briefing today. One of the biggest challenges Sioux Falls is facing now is street racing and nuisance driving. But Minnehaha State's attorney, Daniel Hagar, is confident that will get some help at the state level this upcoming legislative session. Trying to make it very clear um, what behavior is unlawful um, and then what those penalties are. So I think that you'll see proposed legislation, um, again, in the um, organized racing, organized street takeover. Ten Aiken says the city is still looking to hire more police officers and get closer to their authorized force number. He says that will be a big step to make sure the city can continue to manage crime like it has.